Learner 6.5 adds support for being able to run multiple script targets at the same time. Let's take a look at what that means. I have on screen here the project that we created in our live stream event with the Learner team. As we can see, we have two packages in our Learner workspace. If we take a look at the package JSON files inside of the scripts property, we can see each project has a build and a test script, as we can see here. Now, traditionally, what I could do if I wanted to run both of our build scripts at the same time is I could open up a terminal and I can run the command npx learna run build. And that would go out and run both of our builds at the same time. If I wanted to just build one of these but build it from the root level, notice that uh, the shell here is opened up to the root of the workspace, not actually inside our project. Uh, we could run the same command but add the dash dash scope option and pass it the name of the project we want to build. In this case, we're running the build for just the one target that we scoped for. And notice that the build here is still cached, even though we never ran this particular command before. Learn is so smart enough to know to pull the build for this particular project out of the cache because we built it in our previous command where we built all of our projects. So everything we've seen up until this point has actually been available before Learner 6.5. This is actually part of the core pieces of Lerna being able to run tasks. And this also hooks into Lerna's task pipeline capabilities via an X uh, that we've covered in some videos we've released in the past as well. But in Lerna 6.5, we introduce a new capability of being able to run multiple scripts via this Lerna run command. So if we can see here, I can run the command npx Lerna run, and then I want to run both my build. We can see the name of another script that both of our projects have is tests. So I can add a comma to separate the name and say learn a run build comma test. And this will go out and gather all four of the tasks to run. And using the task pipeline information, it orders those in the correct order for this all to make sense. And I think this really speaks to the holistic vision we have for both Lerna and NX in terms of our support for mono repo tools, in terms of offering really smart, intelligent tooling around task running, hooked into all the systems and features available to task running of our mono repo support. So to recap again, 6.5 introduced this new common syntax where you you can put a comma separated list of any kinds of scripts that we have in our workspace and Learner will order those correctly and properly run them according to any task pipeline information that we've provided to the workspace. Go check it out. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Do all the cool stuff. We'll be here trying to make Learner better. Appreciate y'all's support. Catch you next time.